For demonstration purposes, both repair options will be shown, beginning with the repair ring. Begin this repair by cleaning the old flange with a wire brush. Then place the repair ring over the old flange, lining up its mounting channels. Take an electric drill and drill a pilot hole into the slab, exactly where the repair ring's first cement screw will be inserted. Then screw in the cement screw. Repeat this process for the other screws. When drilling the pilot holes, the cement drill bit must be the size of the screw's shank and not the screw's threads. Once the repair ring is secure, the wax ring and mounting bolts can be placed and the toilet can be remounted. If the entire outside fitting flange is going to be replaced, then first the flange's metal ring needs to be removed. Determine if the flange has been screwed into the cement slab, as not all flanges are installed to the same standard. The metal ring can be removed by either taking a mini hacksaw and cutting through the ring, or by wedging a flathead screwdriver under the ring and prying it loose. Since this floor is tiled, a mini hacksaw cannot be used. Once the metal ring is removed, clean the area of any debris. Now test to make sure the new replacement flange fits into the sewer inlet properly, as sometimes a plastic ring left behind from when the inlet was built will need to be removed. Apply ABS glue to the inside of the sewer inlet and also to the replacement flange. Insert the new flange into the sewer inlet. Once the flange is positioned, with the mounting channels at the 9 and 3 o'clock positions, use a power drill to make the pilot holes in the cement for the cement screws to be screwed into. Drill and secure each cement screw one at a time. Next, install the toilet mounting bolts and wax ring. The toilet is now ready to be remounted. On an inside fitting flange, unscrew the cement screws holding the flange to the subflooring. Then take an electric drill with a large drill bit and drill holes around the ABS coupling of the flange. Be careful only to pierce the flange's coupling. A mini hacksaw can be used to cut around the ring if the ring does not break free otherwise. The metal ring can now be removed. Next, take the mini hacksaw and cut the ABS coupling to the sewer inlet. Several cuts may need to be made. Now wedge the flathead screwdriver between the ABS coupling and the sewer inlet, twisting to break the glue seal. With some work, the coupling should be able to be removed. Now clean the area of any debris. Apply ABS glue to the inside of the sewer inlet and also to the replacement flange. Insert the new flange into the sewer inlet. Drill and secure each cement screw one at a time. Place the toilet mounting bolts and wax ring. Now the toilet can be remounted.